Hi, I'm Alan, a product manager on the Workspaces team, and I'll be walking you through the latest and greatest of the new Workspaces editor and what it means to upgrade your default editor from worksheets to Workspaces. This is the new Workspaces editor. You can find it by clicking on the Projects tab here and clicking on Workspaces in the option that pops up. You can make it your default by clicking on the Settings icon on the top right and clicking on this button. Now, navigating to a worksheet will open it in the new upgraded Workspaces editor. Clicking the setting again will also revert the upgrade. On the left-hand side, you'll also see some familiar features. You still have your Object Explorer, plus a new file manager for easy drag and drop organization with nested folders. And you can also find all of your old worksheets here in the worksheet section. In the main pane, we've added layout customization so you can optimize your workflow. You can now split the editor using split right or split down to work on multiple files side by side. And Workspaces also supports multiple file types. So you could have Markdown next to SQL, you could have two SQL files side by side, or in the future, even SQL files next to notebooks, as an example. Now, for exploratory data analysis, we've added new productivity features. The results section now has inline column statistics for quick and interactive insights with just a single click. And you can use these to filter down and see stats update dynamically. In addition to this, Charts has also been revamped to include a new, more intuitive UI, better ways to group data, and also new chart types such as pie charts. Query history is also now in a new global location at the bottom of your editor, freeing up space from the results. You can toggle between a single file mode, the current files here, and an all files mode, making workspaces a true command center for both ad hoc work in a single file and complex projects spanning multiple files. Lastly, Workspaces also supports the new inline copilot, which can write SQL better than ever before with the latest industry leading LLMs. You can use it to write queries from scratch or modify existing ones while accepting or rejecting suggested changes in a diff view. That's all I have for the quick tour. To make Workspaces your default editor, just click on the settings icon on the top right and toggle it on. You'll get all the familiar features you're used to, plus new layout customization, enhanced data exploration tools, and an improved copilot to make your workflow even more efficient. Thanks for watching.